Many people who start dieting are not always clued up with a big C word that plays a role in both weight loss and weight gain. And that is calories. So, what is a calorie? A calorie by definition is the amount of energy measured in kilojoules required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Now that we know what calories are, how do we move forward in order to achieve weight loss with the right diet? To put things more into perspective, let's take a look at certain foods that contain a lot of calories and the ones with the least amount of calories. Fruit and vegetables contain the least amount of calories compared to your everyday processed foods and junk food. So be very careful before you take your next bite. With that said, let's take a look at what it takes to burn calories in the body. To burn 60 calories in your body, you would need to run for 5 minutes at a speed of 12 kilometers per hour or a 10 minute walk at a speed of 6 kilometers per hour. To burn 400 calories, you would need to walk for about 1 hour at a speed of 6 kilometers per hour. A slab of chocolate equates to 400 calories. A large packet of potato chips is also about 400 calories. That should make you think before you put junk food into your body. So, how many calories should the average person consume? Studies have been done and for the average man, he should consume about 2,500 calories per day and the average woman about 2,000 calories. These are the calories that is needed to maintain balance and survival on a daily basis. If you want to lose weight, then one needs to go into a caloric deficit. That means you should eat about 500 calories less per day and this would shed about half a kg of fat per week and 2 kilograms per month. Now that you have an understanding of calories, try calculating them on a daily basis and see what a difference it makes.